And Raven King is the uh, local Ike legend, UGS boy. Almost jack of all trades. He's pretty much a jack of yeah, all trades. Yeah, absolutely a jack of all trades player now that he's also transitioning to uh, sharpen up his Joker for bracket play. And we've actually seen a little bit of that as a preview last night in doubles. So we're going to be able to see what he has in the pocket here. Starting off with Ike and starting off on TS2. They're going to go right at it. Right. There it is. Oh, going all, all in with PK Flash there, or PK Pulse. My apologies. But Raven King is having a hard time trying to like find his hits. And this is another matchup that Raven King does have a little bit of experience in because you know, don't in this region you have a Tata as Nest practice. So no matter where you go, you're going to get a lot of hours on Nest regardless. But. With this character in particular, he has the range to kind of swat Ness out of the air if he gets a little bit too float happy. But uh, the drawback to that is that the ground game is then where Ness really excels because with Ike, a lot of moves, slow, committal, doesn't really want to be on the ground whenever you're doing that. Meanwhile, Ness is the exact opposite, so it's going to be interesting to see how Raven King adapts to that. You can see Send is playing a really slippery Ness right now. I think he realizes that as soon, like what you were saying, Ike has really committal options, but when he lands it, it's going to lead to some big damage. And I think Sen wants to do his best to avoid that situation. All right, oh. with a back air taking it, with all that effort that Sen put in, all of that work, <laughs> just swatted away with Raven King's heavy character, yep. building an even heavier sword. Yeah, that was beautifully spaced, too. Right at the max edge of that back air, but now on the ledge, doing some good spacing of his own. That PK Fire is going to allow him to combo into that neutral air, taking the stock. We're now pretty much on relatively level pegging as you go into this next stock. I think Raven King's realizing that if one send is up in the air, he could potentially just keep him there and knock him around. Because speaking of keeping him there, it just took him from the one side of the stage to the other with that one entire long string, racking up 63% along the way. But that was the opening that Raven King was looking for. But a whiffed forward air is going to be difficult. Finding his way back onto the screen. Was expecting a break out there. The back air didn't happen. Sen still in the driver's seat covering the platform. Not going to kill it quite yet. Neutral air. And now Raven King oh, has the option and chases with is. the up air. Keeping him up in the air, realizing that Ness is going to have a hard time getting back to the stage, but back air isn't killing just yet. We got that DI making his way back onto the stage. He potentially could get some extra credit before he eventually loses the stock to back air, or back throw, my apologies. Yeah, and you could tell that uh, one thing that Raven King has been doing really well at these high percents, he's been recovering as far away from Send as he possibly can, because that's the one thing that you have to do with Ike. If you allow Ness to edge guard him, it's going to be lights out no matter what because of how linear Ike's recovery is. So he's been doing a great job of mixing it up. That shield looking quite small there. Doing a lot of blocks. Ness has a lot of multi-hits, which kind of you know grinds down on that shield for a little bit. So you have to be careful. Raven King has to be mindful of the defensive play that he's putting up there. Oh, but he tried to up be out of the pressure, but the fast startup of that down tilt just, it was like, no dice. I'm not going to let you do that. Oh, ooh, that is a prime position for a KO. Yeah, a lot of those, uh, as the, yep, as the game is finished with the back throw, a lot of those alley-oop scenarios with that PK Thunder 2, it half depends on positioning. It also half depends on percent. If it was just a little bit higher, Ness actually would, it, Raven King would have been in enough hit stun for Ness to combo after that. But it was just a position where he was too far away and also the percent just wasn't right. So was able to escape that, but really didn't matter. Send had backup plans upon backup plans and managed to secure that game one. And now we got a, now we got a question whether Raven King is actually gonna stay on Ike. Cause that's the one thing that's been costing sets recently for him is not is either committing to Ike too much or not committing to Joker fast enough. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but he's been using Joker primarily in the Hungry Box tournaments, correct? Yes, uh, on the online stage, yes. Well, we are going right back. He's sticking to Ike, potentially. Maybe he feels like it is doable with him. It is doable with the character, and it's doable for every character. Three, but we're going to one, Battlefield? Go. All right. No, it's, it makes sense. Ike gets a lot of combo extensions on this stage. You're and right. also, that sword covers pretty much every single platform if you space it correctly. 
like up combination with that up air, that neutral air. Oh, look at that mastery! And you can tell Sen wanted the dagger right there. Oh, and Raven King getting a little bit bold with his recovery too, reversing that up B. He wanted to see maybe, just maybe, if it caught him in the super armor, that would have dragged him down. Sen making himself a, just a constant hitbox, just a, a constant, like, just force of, of damage. But you can see that Raven King has no trouble breaking through that. He techs it! Oh, my God. He had the right idea with the counter, too. I thought it was going to blow up in his face because he countered too early. But instead, hit right to the stage, techs hit, survives, but doesn't survive that back air. We're still at even stocks. And Send is taking his time. He needs a little bit of a breather going off stage, figuring out, trying to guard. Oh, no. Still had a jump. He's still had a jump. He's OK. Oh, they are, <laughs> they are very brave right now. But and Raven King! King! Yo! Raven King not hesitating for a second. He's like, you know what? No, you're not going to spike me. I'm going to spike you first. You rarely see these two characters fighting that deep off stage, but Raven King is managing to make it work. And I think, I'm pretty sure it's taking Sen by surprise too. <laughs> Getting back onto stage, dodging the PK fire. Sen is really struggling. He knows, I need to get this grab. I need to do something. I need to knock him out. He gets to this last stock of his, because if Ike puts on damage, he's going to be putting on a lot of it. Nothing off of that parry. Raven King's still alive at 157, just trying to space out his moves to find that one opening that he needs. That's a good defense, not allowing anything to break that shield. Gets an upbeat for his troubles. He's in position now, possibly to edge guard. Forward air, dislodging again. Now Send has the center. Looking for the ledge Raven. option. Gets on the platform. That patient play style paying off for Raven King. 175%. How does he do and it? That's going to do it. He's going to finish. Get, his, get himself on the board. We're now 1 1, and he does it with a two stock. I chewable. Oh, <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, words officially eaten. <laughs> See, that is, honestly, that's the comeback factor that Raven King has shown over the years so well, is that he plays characters, both uh, Joker and Ike, that can live to these ridiculously high percents and use that to their advantage to come back. Because while Rage is not as prominent as it was in Smash 4, it's still a factor that you have to deal with, especially against characters like Ike. Oh. All right, well, we're going back to PS2. I'm assuming that Battlefield was, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe Sen just liked the feel of PS2. This was a stage that he had won on previously. Techie does not want to catch a PK fire. You can see these smaller platforms are kind of, oh. And Raven King now getting a lot brave. He's now, he's now very confident with his chases. He's now very confident in chasing Sen in the air. And he's getting all the conversions that he's wants now. Yeah, he's going up. And that, you know, that's something I don't see a lot of Ness players do. That like kind of finesse where you use up special to kind of cover your opponent's aggressive behavior towards the ledge. Like just right there, you saw it right there. That's such a good option. Getting you back to the stage and look at that oh. placement. Again, he's been doing a good job of trying to stay as far away from Ness, but there's really not that much distance that he could cover there. And all that Send really needed to do was just bring that PK Thunder 2 right around and seal out that stock. Up special is going to hit hard, but not enough to KO. We're going to fall prey to that up special right at the ledge. Be careful. Be careful, Raven King. That was a great parry, and he punished him for that. Oh, Raven King, quick as a whip. Oh. All right, will this whip enough, or this whip be fast enough to snap back and get that? Oh. Up B, nothing. I did, I, did, I did not finish that. Oh, back air. Split. He's in a bad spot. Oh, he's shorting up. That saved him. Yeah, he's shortening up his recovery now. He's starting to realize that if he goes too far, he's got punishes for that. So he's starting to reel it back in just a little bit now. Just to go to show, these two players have great recovery control with their characters. Oh, another great low up air. Getting a good amount of percent, but here comes Send. PSI Magnet, extension off of the platform. 
Nice conversion, smacking him away. You are not getting back to the stage, burning his air dodge, but getting to the stage. Raven King just, I don't think he was prepared for that. Yeah, and the ledge play is another area where Send is managing to stay alive. Raven King has been doing good keeping the center stage, but as soon as it comes to the ledge, that's the one area where Send has been having second chances of life here. That up B is definitely gonna kill. We're still at one stock apiece, and Raven King is actually sitting at a pretty good percent to sit at for a while. Ooh, going for it. Racking on a ton of damage for up B. Without the fade backs, making sure. Oh! All these special attacks coming out from Send. Another great oh. sequence. Neutral air in the back air. Got a big one, Raven King once, but he lives. He's still alive. Air dodge in. Raven King catches it. Sends it a bad yeah! oh. Woo! <laughs> Raven King! <laughs> oh he my god! So deep! The kid is dirty! Look at that Raven King. He is so calm. He is un. That is the radiant hero! <laughs> Scene shaking his head. He knows. He knows it went into <laughs> He went so deep. That shouldn't have happened. Oh my god. And now Raven King up two games to one. All he needs to do is just. <laughs> this is the point where now all you gotta do, play it as safe as you can. You got the lead. That's when you start like the. It's like the boa constrictor. You've got it locked in. Now all you need to do is just wait. All right, down throw back air, racking on some good percents. This interaction is kind of, ah, it's almost even. They've just been going back and forth, trying to figure out pokes and grabs and whatnot. There it is. The lag from up special is going to get you into a grab, but a spike. There we go. Send, just have a counter attack. You know what? You spiked me, I spiked you. I'm about to say, that was not just a counterattack. That was a statement. There was some malice in that spike. And now you can see that Send is starting to send a message. All right, if you're going to play like that, let's play. Oh, oh no, double back. Still had a jump. See, Babel's going to make it back safe. Again, both of these players have really great recovery control. So if, it may look like they're out, but oftentimes, they save their resources until just the right spot. There it is. Raven King's getting a lot of his kills from sending his opponents upwards with Snare, just keeping them up there, just what, what, yep. what? And, and the way that he spaces his snares, the the, the joke at the beginning of Ultimate uh, that a lot of people, uh, the, UGS, the in, UGS inside joke was that Raven King uh, nares like a PM player, <laughs> which if you look, yes, that, that it does hold weight, but that's a really good thing with it, with because that's, kind of how his Nair functions in this game. It's big too. It's, oh, it it's, controls yeah. a lot of space. It does it, and it hits your opponents up, which is where Ike wants their, his opponents to be. And yeah, that dash deck gonna seal it out. Now send up two stocks to one. And this is that not is the situation that you wanna be in. All these up airs racking up so much percentage over time. Send is doing really well in this match. He is just, he's shutting off every option that Raven King has. That's it, using down special to just kind of, well, hit him off. Raven King couldn't recover from that, and that is going to be game four. We are going to game five. So remember when I said that that spike at the beginning was the message? I take that back. That was the message. He's like, I don't need to spike you. I get that was the message right there. So now, in a crucial win, or get sent in the loser situation. Because this is for a spot in winner's side of top eight, in winner's semis. You definitely want to be on that side if you want a shot at winning this tournament. So, I, oh man, Raven King has got to dig down deep for this last stretch right here. Send is not going to make it easy. And it's going to be an absolute slobber knocker all the way to the very end. Both players kind of taking a moment. Oh, Sen's got the big jug oh. of water, too. <laughs> He's got the big gulp. Oh, my. I, yeah, that's the first time I bit. saw that. That's a huge yeah, bottle that of water. Where'd that come from? That was like a magic trick. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> he brought that out from under his cover. Uh, in the, the, there was the term that uh, an old uh, retired Smash player ruins used to use is uh, the big sippy. The big sippy. <laughs> 
going back to Battlefield, a stage that was favored heavily in Raven King in uh, or for Raven King in game two. But you can see Ness is just going everywhere, using all of his mobility options to get around these platforms. That plat that top platform is going to be a hot zone in this match right here. You can see Raven King, he, he, he's glued onto it. He, Absolutely. He realizes that that's the goal. And for good reason, because from that top platform, he can use that neutral air and a bunch of the other big hitboxes that Ike has to cover so many options. There really is no safe spot. Ooh, still sitting pretty. Using a fade back, not throwing out any aerials, not committing to anything. He's just, he wants that offensive pressure. He knows. Oh, and overcommitted a little bit too much there. He's going to eat a lot of percent for this, possibly putting himself in a bad spot. Oh, it's no. Reset. And, oh, that mess up is going to be very, very big in this matchup. Yeah, Raven King, 57%. The stock deficit can be really difficult in a game like this. What? what? He's just what? constantly trying to up B out of it. He was mashing that up B. Like I saw, I nobody's that, like, business. I saw that at least like two or three times. He really wanted that. I mean, if it's a good option to get yourself out of a situation and also create hitboxes that your opponent has to respect, why not? I'm going to mash it, and you can't stop me. Ooh, Raven King's got to be careful. He burned that jump, but a spike sending it. Sending it? I see what I did there. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that air dodge right into a dash attack. Sen's got to be really careful off stage against Ike. Forward air is a massive threat. Oh, oh. Tries to, oh, he bounced the wrong way. That's another big flub. So crucial in these moments. And now on the back foot in a game five scenario against Raven King. Oh, this is his winner's stock right here, ladies and gentlemen. And he has a gauntlet to work through. Raven King on his second stock, eating all of these PK fires though. Potentially this could be what he needs. He's gotta watch it because Send has been getting in on the patterns of the upbeat, has been doing very good to stop it. And now Raven King back on stage, not for long. All right, oh, great parry, doesn't get a punish off of it. Gonna get a punish off of this whiffed up B. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh nice. the beautiful juggle. Last game, last stock situation. Like a basketball, doo -doo. Oh, slam dunk. A great pickup there. Knew that if he got the down air, it was at the percentage enough where it would bounce him right onto the top platform. Beautiful conversion there. Read the tech in place, didn't get anything off of that conversion. And Raven King just looking for that one opening, that one there that he needs. This could be it, nope, falls out of it. Something that Raven King's been doing a lot of is just approaching Send without throwing out any options, just knowing just it could explode at any time. Oh, oh good spot that gets out. down tilt. Teching on the platform, going to... <laughs> oh, man. They're both playing this is, very... This is a nail biter, ladies and gentlemen. They're playing super patient right now. It could be anyone's game. All it needs is that one conversion that they need. Raven King's looking for the Nair. Send is looking for any sort of... Down aerial into the grab that he needs. Up throw. Oh, he wanted that mix up. Another up or forward throw off stage. Be careful, PK Pulse. Getting back onto stage right here. Another flub. We don't miss that three times. No two frame there. Forward tilt on shield. Oh, no, that's up it. Up the top game. platform. That's going to do it. Raven King's going to the top eight. Raven King did it. Very nice. Send who has been on a great tear in winner's bracket. Looked like he was a shoe in. Sent into losers by a local, and Raven King is going to be in winner's semis on the other side. And not a joker in sight. He didn't need it. Huh. Ike is all that he needed, and it shows. You know what? I apologize to Raven King. I honestly <laughs> believe... I, I mean, he, so here's the thing. He's talking about seriously developing the Joker, and I genuinely believe him. And yeah. he's been working really hard on it. So I often think that, oh, well, that means that he's going to be giving up on Ike relatively soon. But you know what? Every stuff like that, you know what? Every single time he goes like, I believe now. And in a matchup, like, personally, I feel like uh, Joker Ness would have been heavily favored in Joker's favor yes, comparatively to Ike. But he made it work. And I think that's just a testament to his play style and his skill. That was also just a testament to his matchup experience, all the years and years and years of fighting Atata over and over again at regional events. I mean, it's it. The miles rack up, and it definitely showed in that match. Because 
as soon as he got at kill percent, like the patience that he showed and just the commitment to his game plan, even at the even in the face of being a kill percent. Oh my god, it, it was it was ridiculous. And we can't do a disservice to Scene either. He was pulling out all the 